Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys, I'm very very excited to be bringing you a review of this Samsung 950 Pro M.2 NVM Express SSD or NVMe um, kind of SSD. This is an M.2 solution, the SSD is tiny, it's only about that size, if you guys can kind of you can squint your eyes and have a look, it is on my um, you know, it is on my test bench, and it is actually on a actual PCI Express kind of riser card, uh, because, you know, I do have a Z97 based system, and the, because the NVMe kind of protocol is so new, um, yeah, even a Z97 based system uh, can't take full advantage of it via its M.2 slot, as it is only 10 gigabits. Now, I saw the guys over at NCIX review this SSD, and I was very, very disappointed in the review, because at the end, it was kind of like, oh yeah, well, don't never ever trust the, the rigid speeds, and yes, it, it was like twice as slow, or half the speed, same thing. Um, and yeah, they kind of left the review on kind of a negative there, but they tested it on a Z97 board in a 10 gigabit M.2 port. This is faster than 10 gigabit, a lot faster. So yeah, I, I don't know what they were doing. And um, yeah, natively, this SSD is only supported actually on the new Scarlet boards, uh, the Z, is it Z170 or something like that. So yeah, it's only supported on them natively. And um, yeah, there we are. So I'm disappointed with the guys over at NCX. I should use the brain a little bit more, do a little bit more research before they do their reviews. But nevertheless, I'm going to be bringing you a review and hopefully my speeds are not kind of near the 700 to 800 megabytes per second. They're going to be around the 2.2 gig per second. So uh, yes, all good. And that's going to get into a review. I'm going to show you what I get in the box. It's not enough, just the SSD. And then yeah, go over the installation, all the kind of stuff that you can install on the software that Samsung provide. And then yeah, show you guys the benchmarks because uh, this SSD, this SSD, is incredibly, incredibly fast. As always, let's get started with an unboxing. As the M.2 form factor of SSDs are very small, Samsung have indeed gone with a tiny black box of this product. Now inside this, we find transparent plastic that protects the 950 Pro SSD in the middle, and also inside we find a small documentation booklet that includes information on warranty, safety, and installation of the SSD. Now as for technical specifications of the SSD, it's 8cm in length, 2.2cm in width, and a very tiny 2.38mm in thickness. The total weight is under a mere 10 grams. Now the form factor is the most common M.2 form factor found, which is 2280, and the interface connectivity is PCIe 3 times 4 which the effective connection speed is 32 gigabits. As for the rated speeds of this SSD, the 512 gig version is rated at 2500 megabytes per second read and 1500 megabytes per second write. And the 256 gig model we have here today is a tad slower on the reads at 2200 megabytes per second and the writes being 600 megabytes slower at 900 megabytes per second. Still very fast. The estimated power consumption is 5.7 watts for the half a terabyte model and 5.1 one watts with the quarter terabyte model. As for vibration and shock tolerances for the drive, the vibration is a constant 20 Gs, and as for the shock uh, uh, from a drop or say a fall, the tolerance is up to 1500 Gs for less than 0.5 seconds. Onto the installation of this drive, I'm going to demonstrate plugging the device into a standard M.2 port on my own Z97 motherboard, and also into a PCI Express Times 4 expansion card. Now as I have an Intel Z97 based motherboard, and even though this is only a couple of years old, this does only natively support Support SATA M.2 drives and doesn't natively support the PCI Express NVMe drives. The M.2 port on my board is only 10 gigabits per second and this Samsung drive needs at least 20 gigabits of bandwidth to even perform close to the 2 gigabytes per second. The expansion card I've picked up does support speeds of up to 32 gigabits per second so we should be all good there. To install this SSD into an M.2 port, you simply need to remove the screw from the M.2 port on your motherboard, then slide the SSD in at an angle of 45 degrees. Now once you've done this, you can screw the SSD into place with the screw, nice and simple. Now also installing the SSD onto a PCI Express card, follow the same instructions, but be sure to plug this into the PCI Express times 4 or higher port on your motherboard. Relatively simple stuff. Once you've installed the drive, you want to boot up your PC and install the PCI Express driver that Samsung have provided for download on their website and then reboot your machine again. Now the device should be recognized now in the device manager and therefore means you can activate the disk and then use it as normal. 
After this has been done, you can get installing the two pieces of software that Samsung provide if wanted. The first piece of software is the Samsung Magician, a nifty tool that can run disk benchmarks as well as give you many statistics regarding your SSD's health and also performance. In addition to this, they do also provide cloning software, the Samsung Data Migration. Now, I personally use this piece of software when cloning my OS, the M.2 drive. The software was very easy to use and it did clone about 90 gig of OS files, yeah, of OS files to the M.2 drive within about 10 to 15 minutes, so it's all good there. Finally onto the speed benchmarks, first with the drive in the M.2 port on my motherboard and first with the software provided by Samsung, the SSD achieved 730 megabytes per second read and 811 write, and with the Atto benchmark 851 read and 703 write. Secondly with the SSD plugged into the PCI Express TAMS 4 port on the expansion card, the SSD achieved 1809 megabytes per second read and 972 write, and with the Atto benchmark 2000 281 read and 978 write. This is indeed very impressive stuff and really does demonstrate that you do need a Scalic board to have access to the much faster M.2 port, or if you want to stick with your current platform you definitely need to pick up one of the M.2 to PCI Express TAMS4 expansion cards that I did indeed pick up. If you guys are wondering, my PCI Express TAMS4 expansion card is the Silverstone ECM20 which features a standard SATA M.2 port and also PCI Express M.2 port. And now let's build the outro and conclude on this SSD from Samsung. So guys to conclude, a little SSD of this size can read at 2.2 gigabytes per second. Unbelievable. Now actually the, the, the larger capacity 500 gig drive, like the 512 gig drive, uh, the, the actual write speeds do do go up from 900 megabytes per second to 1.5 gig so it's uh it's very, very impressive and i have realized on the actual opposite side of this ssd it's all flat there's no memory chips on the other side i don't know if the 500 gig version has the memory chips on the other side but it's very impressive an ssd uh, to be so cheap and so small is that fast unbelievable and um just a little size comparison, this is my Mushkin SSD. Yeah, I currently aren't using this, I, don't, I actually do not know why it isn't in my system, but, uh, um, you know, yeah, whatever. Size comparison, this is um standard 2.5 inch drive, and uh, there we are, here's the Samsung one. Very, 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 very impressive. If you guys have got a motherboard that supports this kind of technology, then pay the little bit extra to get a drive like this instead of say the conventional 2.5 inch and uh, yeah you'll, you'll just be so much happier um, yeah so much happier you're getting a lot more performance for a little bit more money um, now fair enough if you are on a budget you know feel free get a cheaper SSD or even um, you know some uh, hard drives or whatnot but if you do want a very very fast system grab an SSD like this but make sure you have rather a Z97 motherboard that has, um, you know, a slot for an expansion card like I've got, the M.2 kind of, um, yeah, the M.2 to be the Express times 4 adapter, um, or, you know, uh, you know, you do get like a Scalic board or whatnot. Um, but yeah, very, very fast. Um, I'm very, very impressed with it, and, you know, you're about favorite, I would kind of recommend it. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I think some places are actually cheaper than Amazon to grab this. I think uh, I think this is the cheapest uh, at, um, on scam.co.uk, I think, at the current moment. But um, do shop around, um, but as always, I will provide Amazon links in the good old description, as you know, I do have affiliations with Amazon. There we are. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.